Fusion power is the holy grail of energy production, seen by some as a silver bullet for a carbon neutral future. The failure of the multi-billion dollar ITER project to produce reactor relevant fusion has disappointed scientists and environmentalists. But a batch of small firms like Tokamak Energy believes they're close to cracking the mystery. The UK firm says its reactor's spherical shape and magnets made using high temperature superconductors means it could be two years from reaching 100 million degrees Celsius. That's seven times hotter than the sun's core and the temperature necessary to achieve fusion. So we've got a slightly different shape from traditional fusion and this allows us to get a higher plasma pressure for a given magnetic field. It's a measure of efficiency called beta and by using this improved efficiency it means that the overall size of our device is actually quite a bit smaller. Fusion is how stars produce energy and occurs when the nuclei of light atoms such as hydrogen are fused together under extreme pressure and heat. Investors are spending millions on small-scale fusion projects. Vast potential return makes them attractive, as does the fact that multiple methods of achieving fusion could all be profitable. I think this opportunity, this opportunity here is possibly one of the most spectacular combinations of risk and reward that I've ever seen. First of all, they could be constructed in a factory, so you're talking about economies of scale. And uh, the second key thing is uh, the way in which the grid itself, the future grid, is likely to be more dispersed uh, than current central low power generation units. Tokamak Energy is constructing its third reactor and hopes the fifth generation can transfer energy to the grid by 2030. It is one of those technologies which, if it could be harnessed, could be scaled up rapidly you know, to be deployed worldwide by 2050 and, and could make a very big difference to, climate, uh, to, to carbon emissions and therefore to climate change from 2050 onwards. With world leaders meeting in Paris to hammer out a deal to limit global emissions, fusion power may help them meet those promises.